Hi folks and welcome back to FixYourOwnBack.com. I'm Dr. Philip Snell and today we're going to do something a little bit special. We're going to do a test. Uh, this particular test is called the Lumbar Functional Capacity Evaluation or Lumbar FCE for short. Uh, this information was mostly generated by Dr. Stuart McGill, uh, a well-known back researcher and probably one of the foremost authorities on uh, low back pain these days. So let's get right to it and see what the test looks like. The lumbar functional capacity evaluation is done so that we can help to compare your back to what a healthy back can do. We do this in order to identify and point out specific weak links um, or muscles that are deficient in stabilizing your core and that helps to show us a way to get you out of pain by working those muscles. Uh, the research tells us that when we find those weak links and we fix them, people have less pain and less impact on function that results in less need for care and more independence. The tools that you're going to need are relatively few. You need a supported bench like a uh, weight bench or maybe even a couch or a bed. You need someone to hold your feet down for some of these uh, tests or as you'll see used in the video here a very long strap or belt and you need some way to record time, a uh, stopwatch or something. Um, I want to point out that these tests um, that you're performing here, I'm assuming that you've already done the exercises and been exposed to them over at FixYourOwnBack.com. I don't want you doing these tests unless you're pain free and you need to train your muscles here to get them up to the point where you can do this test. So train using those exercises over there if you haven't already before you, you've done those and then come back and do the test. So. The test starts to look like this. We uh, are going to first test the extensor muscles in the back and you're going to need something to hold your legs down on a bench. Those extensor muscles are the ones you can put your hands on in the low back. You can see me using a strap here to hold my legs down. And then I'm going to place myself with my waistline right at the edge of the bench and hold myself out so that the torso is parallel to the floor. I'm holding myself up with my arms and then I'm going to take the arms up, cross them against my chest, and stay there as long as possible. Um, this will not cause damage to your back. It may cause fatigue, but I don't want you to interpret that to mean that, they're, that you're causing yourself harm. A healthy back here should be able to maintain this position for 161 seconds if you're a guy. Uh, females, we're looking at 185 seconds. That's not a typo. The uh, females are actually a bit stronger than us guys on this one. For the abdominal muscles, we're going to train those um, using that same strap, or test those using the same strap. Uh, you get yourself in position, and you make sure that you've got a 90 degree angle here at the knee, and a 90 degree angle right up here at the hip and you want to lean back with your hands across your chest so that you've got about a 60 degree angle between your back and your floor. Keep that curve. Remember, preserve the curve here in your back by rolling your pelvis forward while you're doing this so that you don't hurt your back. Healthy uh, guys can manage this position about 136 seconds and the women uh, can manage it for about 134 seconds. To test the lateral muscles, those are the quadratus lumborum and the internal and external obliques, we position ourselves like we're doing that side plank um, uh, exercise that we did. You keep your arm across your chest while you're doing it, and you want to make sure that you've got your elbows straight under your shoulder, not over here uh, up too high, and you want to lift your hips up off of the floor, and arrange yourself so that your shoulder and your hip and your feet are all in a straight line. Hold yourself up with your hip off of the floor as long as you can and you stop the clock when your hip touches down. Healthy guys can maintain this about 99 seconds. Uh, women can manage this about 78 seconds in healthy backs. Um, once you've done it on one side, of course, then you ro uh, roll over and do it on the other side. Once you've got your information from the test, what are you going to do with it? How is this going to help us? Well, I want to emphasize that we're using these test positions not for training, only for testing. 
You use the exercises to train over at the uh, fixyourownback.com to train for this particular test. And we use a particular kind of endurance training by not using a steady state contraction of the muscle for longer than about 10 seconds. So we use a 10 second uh, hold followed by three seconds of rest. You train in that manner daily with the exercises that we uh, originally talked about. And then you test about once a week using the test postures that we talked about here today. We're going to go over uh, a little bit more about how to do that, um, the training uh, to get yourself ready for the test and what you do after you get yourself at a healthy level in the next video. So we'll see you there. This is Dr. Philip Snell at FixYourOwnBack.com.